Hey guys, my name's Jordan from Cider Fries, and you're watching Bacon Veggie with Jordan! Sponsored by Tongle. Today we're going to be breaking down the hallway extension shot from our Braun commercial, Pantheon of Perfection. Our approach to this shot is to use a background plate of our practical location to piecemeal a set extension behind our keyable foreground layer. In this case, the lovely and talented Rob Michelson. Hi, I'm Rob Michelson, and you can pay me to pretend things. In order to pull off this effect, we need a green screen, a couple C-stands, clamps and sandbags to make sure that green screen is nice and taut, a couple kinos to light the sucker, and some practical picture frames for our bearded portraits. Once it was time to shoot, we rigged our green screen to the back wall, making sure it was large enough to cover the space our actor would be taking up over the horizon. From there, we lit the green screen and the scene accordingly, and started by grabbing our all-important background plate. As a final measure, we grabbed our foreground layer of Rob. You can still pay me to pretend things. We started by opening up After Effects and importing both our background plate and our favorite take of Rob. Then, making a new comp with the footage of Rob, we keyed him out with After Effects' built-in key light plugin and remove that nasty looking green spill on the floor with a spill killer. After dragging in our plate layer, we imported our various epic beard portraits and proceeded to position them within the frames with the use of the corner pin plugin. We followed that up by copying all the picture frames to the other side of the wall and then pre-comping all the portraits so that if we ever felt the need to replace one, it would be as easy as boom, skadoop, shkladow. Once the pictures were set, we began puzzle piecing an extension together by turning our plate into a 3D layer and arranging mass copies of our plate layer in 3D space in order to extend the wooden beams, walls, and floors. Now, it's worth noting it would have been beneficial to have taken some additional plates of the wooden beams from various perspectives in order to build a more accurate extension. As you can see, mine are currently a bit wonky. Really bad job. But we'll go ahead and hide this later because right now the more pressing issue is the rather obvious lack of a roof. By hunting online, I found something I felt fitting in both style and angle, made it a 3D layer, and stirred that sweet stew with a little compositing by matching color and further adjusting scale, rotation, and position. But it still looked gross and didn't really fit the epic aesthetic I was going for. So instead, I turned to my good old buddy Black for a solid. Get it? Used a black, I used a black solid is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, once I had the black solid in, I masked and feathered it to create a gradual shading upwards to the roof and then adjusted the opacity until it felt right. As a few final steps, I added a camera lens blur to all the background layers to give a more realistic sense of depth. And since the epic was still lacking a bit, I threw up some optical flares to masquerade as light sources for our faux roof and added some universal film grain to seal the composite. Now, let's take a look at our final result. Throughout history, some of the greatest men who ever lived just so happened to have some of the greatest beards. And there you have it, an infinite hall of grandeur for all your beardy needs. Once again, my name is Jordan from Side of Fries, and thanks for watching. Bacon, bacon.